It's a 2011 Equus horse float um, that was rolled out in June 2011. It's been taken from the manufacturer to here and hasn't been used since. It has alloy wheels, including the spare. It's been sign righted around both sides. We'll show you right around the whole outside. And it has checker plates, or checker plating. External light is 12 volt. And all of your windows have fly screens. Has a lockable water. Tank. Yeah, which is 50 litres. Which runs off 12 volt as well. And you have a water pump switch just here. And your tap under here. Moving around to the back. <coughs> so on your side riding on the back, you've got your twin gas struts. Recessed LED lights, so if you've got a horse at the back, there's no chance of your horse actually sort of breaking your lights. They are LED. All of your lights down both sides are LED as well. Pull this down again. While we're in the back, we'll have a look at the tack box. Plenty of room inside your tack box. Heaps of hooks. And as I said, it's lockable. Actually, completely close the float. Get the tack box open. So you can leave the tack box out and completely lock your float up as well. Obviously, on the inside, you've got 
Well, basically it's one horse at the moment. There's also another bay that goes in here that you can quite easily lift up and you can put it in. It goes to the back. That's in the shed. You've got your coat rack up here. Again, that's lockable. Um, Rug. Rug rack, coat rack. I'll call it a coat rack. And you've got three vents. There's one there, one in the middle and one in the front that you'll see shortly. Go around the other side. Again, you'll see the graphics down the side. And you take a plate at the front. And the Reg A sticker which shows that it was actually first registered in June 2011. At this stage this float has been picked up from Equus and uh, been bought here which is a distance of about 96 kilometres and has been in the shed which was actually built for the floats that we've had and has not been anywhere else at all so it's travelled 96k and has never had a horse in it as I said this external light is 12 volt you've obviously got your 240 volt inlet you've got your caravan door which is a double door. So, simple as that to separate it. So, if it's too hot, you just open up the door, lock the other one back, and you've got a good quality fly screen. Okay, going inside. I have to turn the lights on, the big light. You have one 240 volt light inside and one 12 volt light inside. So that's your 240 volt light that's up there. And over here you have another 12 volt light, which is 12 volt only. And again, you've got hooks here. Like with all new floats, you've got your safety switch. So if you get a power surge or anything like that, basically your safety switch will trip, which incorporates again with, with any new float. Right, and you've got two 240 volt power outlets there. You've got curtains that we've put in, which will give you um, quite a bit of privacy if you're in here and getting changed. While we're over this side of the area, we'll have a look in here. You have a huge cupboard. At the front of the cupboard, you've also got a rack there that you can hang stuff on and more hooks down the side. There's your breakaway, or your breakaway battery, which is obviously, again, that's 12 volt. Plenty of room to actually you know, do whatever you want. If you wanted to put a fridge in, put a sink in, put a microwave, toaster, anything like that. Okay, you've got, we'll go over this way first. On this side you've got basically separating your horses from your living area. And again, this has been put up. It's just for cleanliness for you and for safety for you and the horse as well. So if you do have something sort of come away or if you want to store stuff up here, it's not going to go into the back area and it's going to sort of keep the horse in the area that the horse is meant to be. This might look really heavy, it's not. It's really easy, I'm just going to have to squeeze through. It's as simple as pulling this back and pushing and 
you can actually fold this right back, fold the other one back, and open the whole thing right up. So if you're away, you've got a horse that's in a stable area, you've just got a complete living area. You can put another bunk out the back, you can have a couple of chairs here, something like that. With the bunks, they've been engineered quite cleverly. Oh, underneath the bunks, obviously, there's nothing under there that sort of prevents you from having any storage or anything like that. Bunks have been engineered very cleverly. Again, this has been put so if you want to store stuff up here, there is nothing that's going to sort of slip back or go over and go into the horse area. Right, and your bunk actually turns into a couch if you like, whatever you want. It's just a matter I just pulled a split penny out there. Just take that out. This slides back and folds down. And if you want to have it permanently there, then you just lock it in like that. That's how simple it is and you've got a couch or a bottom bunk and your storage area is still up here. Both bunks are the same length which I think is around six foot two. I'm not really sure. I would have to actually measure them again. But um, I'll just put them back up and show you how easy it is. And how well engineered it is too because once these go up, that goes up there. And what happens with your ladder, you put your ladder down there which goes into two spots in the floor this goes through, you put a split, th uh, split pin through there, it takes me a little while because I've the glasses on, and now this cannot go anywhere at all. So once this top bunks up, especially if you have children, it can't go anywhere. So you've got a safety rail up here if you want to have a kid on the top bunk. Um, this cannot go anywhere once it's actually up. Um, what else are we looking at? I don't think there's that much else to actually look at, really. Oh, apart from obviously you've got your vent up the front here as well. And your middle vent. And to go in your rear vent. So three vents that go through, 240 volt power, one 240 volt light with the two power points. Um, all of the external lights, as far as the float are concerned, are LED. Um, the rest are just your normal, like the rest are just your normal 12 volt bulb lights. Padding is exceptional. Everything is light. Everything is very easy to maintain because it's been done in black and grey. One of the things I like about Equus floats is, is their handles. So you come in, you get your horse, it's a matter of doing that. And it's beautiful and flat. There is a third bay that actually goes in here and goes through to the back, there. Doesn't have a stallion rail on it though, which it obviously don't need. Um, very lightweight again, everything is easy to do. But Uh, 
mean, it's being done to specifications, I suppose, of someone that wants to, you know, take a child away with them, or take a family away with them. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful float that, uh, that has absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is spotlessly clean, it's immaculate, it's been garaged here from the time that we've had it. And uh, that's about all I can say, really. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the float. We're selling it for health reasons. Anyone that wants to buy it will get a brand new float.